Welcome back. This video covers a huge world war fought in a multiplayer Divergence of the Darkness game, in which I'm once again playing as Scandinavia. This is separate from the Scandinavia series, but I think this country is so fun that I decided to play it again. So the year is 1881, this is late mid game, early late game. Colonisation has been going on, but I didn't feel like just going for the usual places like Africa and the Far East. I decided to go for a couple of extra ports in South America. I ended up competing for these two provinces down here with the nation of Gran Colombia which owned most of South America. I had a lot more colonial points than him so it was just a matter of time before I'd be able to win the competition, just as long as a colonial crisis didn't happen while we were competing. Wow, yeah, yeah you can, you know, Ooh. always a crisis over oh, new oh, Absolutely, oh, absolutely. Gran Colombia. Zom zombie, zombie, please. Back, 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 Back Scandi. Right, Poland, Hungary, Burgundy, this is the time. Let's go. You're not going to go in on the Navy. Yeah, board. just back up. Oh, come on, you, you wouldn't join a hug box. Well, let's see what the two hug boxes of this war are going to be. Here's the map of Europe at the time of this war. These are the sides that formed in Europe of this crisis. Burgundy and Poland Lithuania supported me, and Italy supported the dual monarchy, which was supporting Gran Colombia. I'm not going to go into the diplomacy of who was supporting who for what reason, I'm just showing the sides of the war. I can't get a 100% accurate brigade count, but I can show the standing armies of about two years ago from a save. So the real brigade counts will be higher, but roughly the proportions should be the same. The main thing to note from this is that the dual monarchy here has a huge brigade count. They're absolutely massive in this game. They got all their cultures accepted, so they can even mobilise more. They actually have more troops than Burgundy, Scandinavia and Poland combined. And they also have Italy on their side, but also Poland, Lithuania has to station about half those brigades on the Russian border, so we have even less. This really is a world war though, so we also have this front over here in America where Patagonia is. So on the enemy side we've got my colonial rival Gran Colombia, and on my side we get Arcadia. Arcadia outnumbers Gran Colombia, but there's one more country in this war. A really powerful Japan lies to the east of this, with a huge brigade count of which he will send troops to aid Gran Colombia, as many as he can. So Arcadia has to push the Grand Colombians as much as they can before the Japanese troops arrive. So finally, let's enjoy World War Patagonia. It's too late. It's too late. I mean, the war started. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. You, you, you seriously didn't pick a side. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well. I don't really have a dog in that fight, to be honest. <laughs> Right, they, they, they were attacked. They were attacked in. They attacked in the south. In the south. Defend it. They're attacking there too. I could technically. Yeah, I mean, Burgundy needs to reinforce the battles as well, and then we're fine. Guys, you need to cover the uh, loss. No, we don't need. Shut the fuck up, please. No, it's covered. It's already covered. We have yeah, forts. And we can hold it forever? Yeah, he attacked in another province. Get more troops down there. I do have one. It's my border unit. I have only mobs. Okay, um, I bring some of my professionals over there, okay? I have the best attack channels ever, but only defen uh, no defensive. I have some. I have attacks, but I. Can't I think I might beat the dual monarchy navy. We're fighting. We're fighting the dual monarchy navy. If anyone has a navy, get them into that battle. Just anything into the battle on uh, Brittany. I'm winning. I'm crushing him. Oh where? My God. Where are you winning? Off the coast. Winning, winning, coast winning, of winning. rest. The coast of France. Yeah, yeah, I'm sending in all shit. I have four battleships. Yeah, he is. Oh fuck, mission. Italy's open. I'm moving into Italy. Holy oh fuck. my god, you just. Oh my just god, look at your Italy, dice yeah. rolling in every battle. Your dice rolling in every battle. One, yeah, seven. I'm oh rolling my god. well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm rolling, 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 rolling. Oh Something my god, I won the naval battle. Oh my god, yes. yes. I didn't kill that many ships, but it was still good. Oh wow, Italy attacking the mountain. Yeah, good job. <laughs> oh, yeah. That one. If he positions troops there, then he has it. Yes, and we can encircle it right away. Attack road, attack road. Go, 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 attack. You know? 
Yeah, thank look you. At my, look at my fucking. Oh. By the way, <laughs> Savoy, you look at these moves. I don't want to be a distraction, but you can actually add a tickle in Savoy. That has 75% off. We'll worry about that later. For now, look at these moves. Look at these moves. Yeah, oh. it's good. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh my god, yeah, we are doing it. Oh, yeah. Get more troops in the I battle. Got... Oh my god, they're you know losing what? every single battle, I think. You know, you're in the Rhone, aren't you? You know, um, Lidl actually had um, a sale last week on... <laughs> well, yeah, yeah it's, all, it's all it's all, uh, meant to be, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, stay troops in uh, Valence, so you have to encircle yeah, man. He's doing it. Wait, I bring, I bring my troops out of Ron and... But he, he, I think he died. Italy attacked me in uh, a province. I might be cut off. Yep, yeah, in Valence. Yeah, it's okay. He, he's me. But he, you probably you can get troop funnel through, troops in through Grenoble and that because he's likely not to attack the mountain. When we win the Battle of Valence, that's going to be huge. That'll be the okay. It's, it's I get looking, another one hundred K professionals then. More people in the Battle of Auxerre, Burgundy. Yeah, that's it. Good. More Polish troops. Ah, oh, this is great. Yes. Yeah, there are even more Polish troops coming. Yeah. Italy is attacking into the mountains. <laughs> oh, why not? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, okay, if you can sneak it. Oh. Entire... I'm putting a general into that. Oh, yeah, I'm putting a general. Oh, we won a battle oh, the yeah, yeah, We did a it. There. That's a huge stack, wipe. Yeah. <laughs> Like with the Italians, they attack me in the mountains again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I reinforce it. I'm on my way. Why is he putting all that men in? Why is he putting so many men in there? Look, look at the combat. Look. Like my troops are getting really yeah. depleted now. It's hard to hold on. I mean, I have still big reserves I can send in. Just then do it, man. Just anywhere attacking mountains is so dumb. Well, I mean, they're actually winning that mountain battle. They're attacking it. We need more troops in there. Yeah, but soon uh, reinforcements are there and then it will change. Okay, I, I'm blowing through uh, Grand Cold. Holy shit, you blew the fuck out of Jester. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, he put down, <laughs> he put down 100,000 troops in, in Oh, Kerala, I see, and I, 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 see I had Japanese. two four attack generals. You know, I'm going after that Japanese navy that's in the outside Texas. I, I'm just going if after If you that. can do that, I can retake that. Oh shit, the, the Joe Monarchy Navy's out. I'm going after him. Are you sure that he's, he's moving into Caen? He's moving into Caen. Stop him moving into Caen. Attack yeah, yeah. him in La Manche before he gets there. If he can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Move to La Manche. Ah, it's too late. It's too late. Yeah. It's fine. It's oh, fine. Oh, oh. Don't attack oh. him. Don't attack the Joe Monarchy bird with me. Don't attack him. It's not worth it. Just a report on the um, other front. Yeah, Arcadia's winning. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. It was a blow too. I've, I've lost the naval war though. I oh, I'm fighting the Joe Monarchy. Get, yeah, get them in. Oh, yeah, 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 get your troops in. Get all your ships in. All your ships. Yes. We won it. You've won. Oh, they went to uh, Plymouth. Plymville, Plymouth. Cornwall in England. Oh. Uh, I need to repair my ships. I'm going to reinforce you in the stuff. Good. Good. The mountain battles are all fine. Um, mm -hmm. Soon I can but shouldn't we keep uh, our... I'm about to lose Clermont for now, so I won't be a full surround, but it's still good. Oh, I won St. Etienne with stack mountain before I lost that oh battle. Oh my yes, god, oh, shit. Like get in now that. Now get in move shoots in, move, move get in, yeah. get in, get in, get in. Like, we could have retreated from that, but yeah, it's, it's defensive. Yeah, it's a defensive battle. So. Okay, I still have another, I still have another 80 Defensive battle when we put machine on, so... Okay. The Japanese Navy might be coming to Europe now, by the way. I'm not sure. We should uh, meet them. My idea is I don't to... know if we can beat the Japanese as well. We can beat one at a time. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, that's... Uh... He idea. has only 100 ships, man. Oh, problem. problem is, I'm struggling to supply my navy. 
I need more f I need fuel. Hey, I need... We need people in the battle in... The oh, shit. All my good factors... Half of my good factors are in Scotland, and he's occupied it, so that's bad for me. Oh. I had a he, fuel he factor. He attacked me oh, in my Leon. Are really depleted Where's right Leon? Now. Oh, how did he attack me there? What the fuck? Hold wow. on. Is it mobilized? Yeah. He mobilized troops there, that's all. Okay. Weird. Reinforce the seat then, guys. Okay, no we balls, want a big battle. Yeah, Sitten and Valance needs reinforcements. And Maloons, Maloons, yeah. yeah. Oh shit, is this Russia attacking you? That would be Me? bad. Uh, well, I mean, you've got troops in the border. Join <gasps> Hungary, Hungary, join him. Hungary, help Russia. Yeah, help you Poland. need to immediately send. Yeah, Hungary, we need, I need you. I really need you. I mean, the Ottomans have shit on my border. Okay, I'm gonna. I have only mobilized the on the border. I really need you. I don't think. Oh, Ottomans Come join. Burgundy, I'm, I'm removing all my troops from Belgium, okay? You need to cover that. Okay. Muscovy attacks Poland Lithuania to get some of those Russian cores back that Poland had taken. These attackers have roughly double Poland Lithuania's brigade count, and so many of Poland Lithuania's troops are in the Western Front. I can't spare anything to help him. Hungary is too weak to join the war. All we can do is hold on. Guys, Nancy, the uh, south of Nancy, they're attacking me. South of Nancy? It's okay. Yeah, we need. No, they're attacking uh, my troops and they're I'll get Okay, okay. Get troops there immediately. We need the troops in Nancy uh, now. We need we actually need troops in Nancy at this point since he attacked. Oh they attacked me they killed my ships, all of them. What? Oh I'm my J Japan's here. Japan's here. Yeah, Japan's here. I'm gonna keep my navy in port. Ah, should I fight it? I don't know man. All my um, all my ships are in really bad supply. I can't do it. So repair repair them. I am, but I just don't have good supplies. By the way, they're, they're almost breaking you in that mountain. How are they fucking doing that? Uh, he's, he's got two... He's lo literally lost hundreds of thousands of men there, so... Does he have much more people? He's attacking... <sighs> What's happening in the first war is happening again. My troops are so depleted everywhere. I barely have anything left to fight with. If, My troops are depleted as well. If I can build man. enough, if I can get to the Panama again... I can start shipping troops over to Europe. It, that's dangerous though, because they have naval dominance right now. Uh, I, can, like, I can send them like away. What kind of fighting navy do you have, Arcadia? It was just needed. Hey. Oh, right, we need to look at the west. We're losing a lot of battles here, I think. Uh. Building some the mountain powers. battle in Sitten is being lost. We could give that up. We could move back there. Just so we can reinforce. You can see in the middle they are breaking us. Like as fuck. Yeah, 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 in the center. Alright, Japan's moving his fucking navy into my into my seas. I'm gonna go and fucking attack him. Oxair is lost. Oh god. Yeah. And now we're in trouble. In real trouble. As they gonna win Molon as well. They, they attacked the They attack them all. We've got more troops there, though. It's shit tr troops, to be honest. But I don't know, man. They're kind of enraged. So I really don't know. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Right, I'm fighting the Japanese Navy. If anyone has any ships. I have four ships or two. Oh, DM Navy is coming. You better do something. I think someone else could actually... We lost a battle. Play. We lost a Where? battle. Oh, Dijon. Shit. It was in the far south. Somewhere. Dijon. We're losing everywhere, man. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. That's bad. Yeah, he's, he's cut us off. Fucking cut us off. Bullshit. He's not yet, but... Oh my god. Pull back, to... pull back, pull back, pull back. Pull everything back. Yeah, pull everything back.
now we're dead. No, just pull everything back. Don't try not to lose everything. I'm sure I can't supply. Get everything into the battle on uh, Bat Bounce. So, uh. I don't have anything, man. To be honest. It's fine, just retreat, try and save what you can. It's not fine, man, it's half of my country. We have to. Consolidate yeah, the line. To. Consolidate the line. If you have anything left, put them into that battle and then retreat them out of the battle further north. That's all we can do. Oh my god, I'm winning the naval battle. At least. Wow. Ar Arcadia? I'm winning the naval battle. If you're winning the naval battle, that, that that is really important. Like, that's enormously important. Oh, the battle's won. He's yeah, I just won the battle. Holy shit. Where? Which, which, wow. which port? He's going, he's going to Holland. Dogger uh, Bank. Dogger Bank now. Yeah, I'm gonna hold that. Ipswich. You can see Ipswich Town and League One. The top of the table. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull off some ships to repair from this. Are they attacked? They're attacking more. Hold the line. Can you reinforce in the north, man? Yeah. So would you have like 15k move them there? You have troops in the, the Alsace Lorraine to reinforce the battles quickly. Reinforce. Alsace Lorraine. Okay, I'm it's retreating. It's the troops, man. It's, a, yeah. it's bullshit. It's like, okay. I will reinforce it. But Poland, by the way, Poland here. How's that? You should, um, Hungary, you should join the Polish war now. You should join the Polish war no, now. No, 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 no. He will get steamrolled. He will get steamrolled by oh, the Ottomans. Won't. Not necessarily. No, he does. His army is not really don't believe me in this. Burgundy, you've got so many troops in Alsace in that little forest province. Spread them out, reinforce. Why they have no morale, so I could reinforce. I just replenished. Four million. Uh, the so Japanese are fighting good. my navy. Oh, look. Like a million or so. I give you some money. Paul. Yeah, I need to enable giving go -ups. One second. Oh, it's low. Wow, look yeah. at that. At least I won the fucking naval battle again. At least. I mean, at least the naval battle. Man, good. look at the number of brigades of dual monarchy in Italy. We've, Can we've I just give up, here. please? Yeah, we should just fucking surrender, but at least Poland will be able to kill Russia and the Ottoman Empire. Well there you go, we lost the war, but as always here are the overall casualties. The dual monarchy hug but alliance took 5.1 million and we took 3.5 million. Those encirclement moves and their attacks into mountains and all that caused them to take far more casualties, but they could handle it since they had way more troops anyway. 
The war analyzer doesn't take into account what people lost through complete stack wipes, so remember that. The only result of this war was that I lost the Patagonian colony, and they didn't take anything else for weird reasons surrounding double wars and glitches and all the stuff I'm not going to get into, but I only lost Patagonia. As for Poland, Lithuania and Russia, well, after the crisis war ended, Muscovy and the Ottoman Empire gave up and gave up one territory to Poland, Lithuania from the threat of me coming east to join that war against them. The overall diplomacy of all these things in this game is too bad. I'm not even going to go into them. I, I really don't want to talk about them. We're just focusing on this war. And the main reason we lost was the Russian and Ottoman backstab. With the Polish troops on the Western Front, we could have held off and continued our advances. And with naval dominance, we have so many opportunities, but it didn't work out because of the diplomacy. But even though dual monarchy in Italy won, they did make a lot of mistakes in their fronts in the war, without which they could have won much sooner. The most obvious example is that for some reason Italy did not garrison the mountain border between him and Burgundy. What was he thinking? And throughout the manoeuvre, Italy and the dual monarchy had one province that they could have attacked into, which would have cut off my manoeuvres down south. It's a mountain here which generally you shouldn't attack into, but in this case, dual monarchy and Italy were not afraid of attacking into mountains in other places, so if they did it here and reinforced it, they could have cut me off. The dual monarchy in Japan perhaps could have won the naval battle if they had combined their navies before fighting mine, but that's difficult when Japan has to get there first. Japan's priority was to help Gran Colombia against Arcadia, and they beat the Arcadian navy before coming to fight me. One of the biggest problems I had in that war was being able to reinforce my units. I just wasn't getting enough military goods to my units. And one of the biggest reasons for this was that my largest industrial province, Scotland, had to be given up to the dual monarchy because it's simply undefendable. The dual monarchy just has way too many troops. I can't split my army. If I send my whole army to Scotland, then Burgundy will get rolled over. So a lot of it just comes down to the diplomacy again. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that war. I thought it was a really fun and interesting war. The millions of lives lost over Patagonia, completely worth it, as always, in Victoria too. But thanks for watching, please do consider subscribing for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one.